Hi there, and thanks for checking out this tutorial video on conditional logic. In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to create conditional logic options that will show more initial text boxes based on the number of letters selected in a drop-down below. Here is what that product looks like currently. If I select one, then one text box will show, and two, two text boxes will show, and three, three text boxes will show and you can revert back. So on the back end, on my admin, this is my conditional logic option fields, and these are what have created those options. But I'm not just going to show you this. Uh, I'm actually going to show you how to build that. So I'm going to remove this. Sad to see it go, but yes, delete. So the first step in building these conditional option rules is to create a new option set. This option set is called option set 3 right now, but I want to call it something different. Let's call it conditional logic for necklace. And I want to then assign it to the desired product. So I will use, let's use URL. I will quick steal this URL and then paste it in and I can see that it's now showing on one product. That's key. Great. Then I will create a label for this first option. This first option is the first drop-down option that I showed you before, so this number of letters option set. So let's call it a uh, number of letters for necklace. And then for the field name, I'll just call it number letters for necklace. It's kind of long, but I like to be clear with my field name so I know what is going on on the back end. And this, remember, is going to be a drop-down option. So let's create it as a drop-down here. The values for this are going to be 1, 2, and 3. And let's do some placeholder text. So maybe select number of initials desired. Cool. So that's our first drop down menu option. If I save changes, you can then see on this product, if I refresh, that I simply have one option set here now. These options are not connected to any conditional option sets in the future, so no text boxes are showing. To create those text boxes, you will have to add another custom field. This new custom field, let's call the first one initial one. The field name, again, I like to do these very similar. I'll call it initial one. And this will be a text box. I'd like to open up the advanced field, and I'm going to add some placeholder text. So add initial here. Keep it nice and simple. And I want to make the character limit 1, so they can just enter one initial. Um, and now I have a, an option set that includes two options. You can see this initial one here, but that's not how I want it to show. I want it to be hidden if there is no option selection. To hide that, you will want to go back to your option sets and you will want to create a new conditional rule. This conditional rule, um, I would actually like it to show this field if all of the following match and then you need to click into field name. The good news is the field name is already pre-selected. I just want to click into the field name and then click on that. And for my case, I would like to show this field if the field is greater than zero. If the value is greater than zero, I should say. What this is doing is uh, this is telling the option to show every time the value of the first option that I created 
is greater than zero. In this case, it will show then for all of the values because one, two, and three are all greater than zero. So if I save this and I go back to my initial necklace and refresh, you should see that that text box is hidden. But if I select one or two or three, this initial text box shows. Great. But that's not all I want to do. I want to create text boxes that will show for two and three initial selections as well. To do so, let's go back to our admin infinite options page. And I'm actually not going to add another custom field by clicking this button. I'm going to duplicate this initial one option. So let's duplicate it by clicking here. And I actually want to drag it beneath. So here it is. And I'm going to adjust this a little bit to resemble now initial two. Um, I actually like to duplicate it because this will save me some time. I want all these things to remain the same, except for this conditional logic field. I want this option to show uh, when the value is greater than one. So now this will only show for values greater than one, which are in my case only two and three. Let's quick save our changes. And then I will show you what this looks like on my end. So one, just one text box shows, and two, now two text boxes show. Three, three is still not complete. I think by now you probably get the, the picture of this, but I will show you how to create this last third initial option. To do so, click this duplicate button again, then drag it be beneath again. I want to then adjust this a little bit, make this initial three, initial three, open up the advanced box, keep everything the same except you want this to show on values greater than two. So this is only the value of three in my case. Now when I save my changes, go back to my product page and refresh, I should now see that the number of letters on necklace, if I select one, one initial shows, two, two initials though show, and three, three initials show. Great. I did it. And that is the tutorial video for conditional logic for this initial product example. Thanks for watching.